Hi ladies, this is Milan of So Natural Wellness here and I just wanted to share something that's from some insight that I received yesterday. Three mistakes people make when they're trying to live a healthier lifestyle. And I always find that we are naturally who we are as eaters. So who you are as an eater is really who you are. And there's an expression that says that if you plan to, if you fail to plan, then you plan to fail. And it's so true because you're going to learn in these three mistakes that people make, what are some of the problems that keep coming up for a lot of people, a lot of women in particular, and also you'll find out if you fall into one of these categories. So the first mistake that there's no plan. So when you go to the market, do you have a plan? Do you have a list? Do you have um, an idea of how long it would take you to get in and get out of the market? Do you have, um, you know, the know-how of what you're going to be preparing and how you're going to be preparing it? Because all of that makes a difference in, you know, whether or not you enjoy dining in or not. And who doesn't love dining out, right? Dining out is one of the best experiences because somebody else is catering to you. You don't have to do any cleaning up. You don't have to take care of any dishes. Uh, you don't have to run the dishwasher. You don't have to clean your kitchen when you're finished. So dining, dining out is, is beautiful. But dining in is healthier. So that's why this video is really, really uh, important today. Now let's get into the second reason. And if you've ever went to the grocery store to, and didn't have a list, or majority of the time you go without a list, let me know, leave a comment below this video. So here's the second one. The second reason and the mistake that many people make when trying to live a healthier lifestyle. They don't have an exact strategy when it comes to dining in. So when you're dining out, a lot of times you wing it. You, you know, maybe a friend or a colleague or someone invites you to dinner, you say, sure, why not? You haven't looked at the menu, you haven't pre-looked the menu, you don't know what the restaurants serve unless you go there all the time. Or maybe if you do go there all the time, you order typically the same thing, which a lot of people do. But when it comes to dining in, the same concept, the same characteristic that you have when you're dining out is what you bring when you're dining in. So you don't have an exact strategy. You don't know the cuisine type. You know, what is your taste buds say? What do you want to eat today? What would you like to eat? What do you have a taste for? Do you love French cuisine? Do you love um, Italian cuisine? Do you enjoy Spanish cuisine? Well, bring that same thing and bring it home to you. Instead of dining out all the time, you can bring it home to you. And like I said, it would be much more healthier dining in than it is dining out. So once you bring it in, how, is it, how are you gonna prepare it? That's the how. Um, what are you going to season it with? That's the wet. Because every cuisine have their own unique spices. But the technique and how to prepare it is exactly the same. So if you're searing something that's French cuisine, it's the same as in Italian, it's the same as in Spanish. The spices are completely different. So that's what makes it unique. Another thing involving the strategy. Um, What's your selection? Do you want to take one day when you just choose to do vegetarian for the day? Or maybe one day you choose during the week to be pescatarian for the day. You know, you're just having fish. You're having, you know, uh, light fish for dinner. You're having some fish maybe during lunch, maybe on the salad, or maybe on the side. For dinner, you're having your main entree as seafood. So you can do something light like that, or maybe you're choosing to be, for the day, an omnivore. You know, you want a steak, you want a pork loin. So what is it that you want to select? What is your cuisine type that you want to prepare? Here's my last reason, and what I see the mistake that many people make when they're dining in and trying to live a healthier lifestyle. And I call this Milan's secret weapon. So the secret weapon it's like pick six. So what confuses a lot of people make them make a mistake is they have 
no clue how this week, how the week or how the next couple of days is going to go. So when you get to the market, you don't really know what you're going to you buy. And if you do make a list, you don't know where to begin in creating the list. So this is what I consider. This is my secret weapon. I'm going to share it with you today. I call it my pick six. So my pick six means there are six things that I'm going to be choosing. So the six things that I'm going to be choosing is it can be three proteins, it can be um, one side, it can be two vegetables, or it can be, you can change it up and you can do, try to be creative for vegetables and, you know, sides and maybe two proteins. But whatever it is, you pick six. So when you're creating your list, when you're creating your plan, when you're figuring out what is your strategy, think about pick six. So pick six items, proteins, sides, and vegetables, and that will help you to live a healthier lifestyle and not be confused when you're doing your shopping at the market. So if you have any questions about this video or anything that I've mentioned in here, make sure that you leave a comment so I'll know that you've seen this video and that it resonate with you. And if you have any questions or concerns, you want to go further uh, to see exactly how you can commit to living a healthy lifestyle on your terms, then send me a private message and I'll make sure to answer it. So until our next time together, stay beautiful and healthy.